Okay, welcome to part one of DuckTales Remastered Playthrough. Uh, this is pretty much just the tutorial level, and there's really not much in this. I'm only putting it in here for the sake of being as complete and thorough as possible. Um, you get one achievement at the end of this video, and that's just for 10 gamer score. It's story related. You cannot miss it. If you do miss it, you can't get any of the other achievements. Because that means you must really suck at DuckTales. So this is the remake from Capcom. From You probably played this. It was released in 1989. Some of you probably weren't even born when this came out. I happened to play on, on the Nintendo quite a bit. Really excited to play this. It looks awesome, so I'll shut up through most of this and just let you watch it, skip around. You really don't even need to watch the whole thing. It's, it's probably really boring, but I put it all here in case somebody wants to watch it. So here it goes. Enjoy. Also, it's worth noting that this tutorial level was not in the original game at all. And the storylines changed quite a bit too. Well, not really, but kinda. There's more insight. Now that's what I call a stomach ache. This was made back when games didn't have tutorials in them. So the developers were able to totally dig this one out on their own. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here too. You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. They might be in trouble. You want to make sure to collect as many of those as possible because it does matter for how much money you get. You're going to need that to buy art. And you don't want to miss the red ones because they're worth a lot. That's another thing you gotta watch out for. I totally screwed myself there because that that chest that appeared was my ticket to those two chests at the top, so pay attention to that. Otherwise, you'll have to replay it. Not that that's a big deal, but sometimes it's a pain. Away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. I'm starving. <laughs> if 3D gaming was still a thing, that would have been a cool hey, part right there. Are you hurt, lad? Here. I'll handle this. There I go, I'm missing a gem because I go too fast.
You want to almost be at the top of the rope when you jump off here to get these red gems. It kind of sucks because you can't really jump off the rope, you just kind of fall off it. So you always have to climb taller. The ropes, the ropes I had trouble with. There's some secrets there. When you play in the harder difficulties, you're going to need that. I should probably do a walkthrough for the harder difficulty instead of this one. Depending on how good I get, I might at least do the boss fights. That's going to be where the trouble is. Screwed myself again when I hit that can over there. Just like in the old Nintendo games, if you get hit and you're invisible for a little bit, you get a little bit of immunity and then you can just run through stuff. I'm actually going to use that trick right here for these lasers that are coming out. When I get the gold, I'm gonna buy Ma a cow! Woohoo! We almost got them all! A fat lot of good that'll do us if they make it to me vault. These cutscenes kind of break it up a little bit too. Wish it went a little bit faster sometimes because there are times later in the game, as you'll see, that you don't want to be talking, you just want to play. But it does add to the story a little bit, so it's not all bad. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. This time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. That helmet should be your first clue that you can't bounce on his head. And damage him. Your safe is securely suspended. Should have been my first clue, I should say. There you are, sir. Oh, my yanking head. Who keeps the shape hanging from the ceiling? Everything is ready, sir. Curse you, Matt! This ain't the last you'll see of me. And there you go. Work smarter, not harder. Ten gamer yeah. score. Good riddance to bad people, That's all you're going to get here. No, um, you're going to... Then you'll start to get Surely to the part where um, you probably recognize from well, the uh, Nintendo fellas. games it where you like select your levels. Good. Boys, boys. This was just all added in here to make scrooge? the game a little bit more yeah. robust what and a little bit longer. I'm not sure. But I know how to find Albeit it. Up. still quite I'll short. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand so by that's by. pretty much going to be it. I'm going to break it up here and do the rest of the levels each in their own video. Brick so if you want to see those, I what will link it here and click it and, and like and subscribe and all that fancy oh, stuff if you want to see more. Any kind of treasure, ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon! And there's another one in Transylvania! And one buried ten miles underground! Hey, wait a minute! Something screwy! This last treasure can't be right! Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high! Well, of 
According to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Thank you.